What's up, LHS? I'm Jesse. And I'm Chandler. We'll be having Club Rush on Tuesday, August 27th. For those of you that don't know, Club Rush is a way for our students at LHS to see what clubs and activities are available to them. BDN is currently developing club promotional videos. This is a great way to increase your numbers and bring awareness to your club. If you would like a promo video, have your sponsor email Ms. Nick ASAP. Students, remember that getting involved in clubs and activities is an essential way to make the most out of your high school experience. If your club is interested in participating, Please respond to Ms. Robinson's email by Friday, August 23rd. Also sign up begins now. Cost for state national affiliation is $16, and you must have had or had one health science class in order to qualify. Beta officers have a meeting this Friday in Ms. C's room. FCA will be tomorrow at 715 outside the Commons. Freshmen, elections are this Friday during lunch. Your vote matters. Students, we want to encourage you to sign up for the Disney Governor School, a challenging and a high-intensity program for rising 11th and 12th grade students. We will show a series of videos that demonstrates various subject areas offered, such as ag science, business, humanities, and many more. Make sure you tune in. And welcome back. You know, for several summers now, the University of Tennessee at Martin has been hosting the Governor's School for the Agricultural Sciences, where some 33 rising high school seniors are selected to take part in this month-long program to learn more about this all-important industry and even get college credit. And this year, the group had a special visit from the governor himself. I'm not exactly sure how many years we've been doing this now, seven, eight. Um, we invite the, the group of uh, governor's school students out and they eat a meal and then get to tour our farm. We usually break them up in some different groups. We talk about our row crop operation, uh, we talk about our cattle operation, and then we try to make sure that they all get some hands-on uh, riding on a tractor with auto steer and uh, see some of the technology advances. So uh, they're from across the state uh, and a pretty diverse group. Uh, some of the students probably come from a larger farm than this, and uh, some of them are inner city uh, students. So this may be one of their only times to interact on a real farm. We've had lots of visitors over the years. We've had commissioners of agriculture. We've had state representatives and little everybody. And uh, this year, just kind of off the cuff, we decided we'd invite the governor, and uh, he said yes. So glad to be at Jurgen Farms here. They're a fine multi-generational farming family that is supporting this governor school uh, that is really focused on kids in high school that are considering agricultural pathway to uh, a career. And ag is the 13% of our economy. It's the largest piece of our economy. It's something that I have a strong background in and a real belief that we need to invest in. So this, this governor's school right here, encouraging kids to follow pathway into ag is very, very important for the future of our state. We are the governor's school for the agricultural sciences and agriculture was a huge part of Governor Lee's campaign and so to have him here is such a great experience and just to know that he wholeheartedly supports us is so comforting and especially because I don't think people realize how important this industry is just to know that we have his support and all the other people in the community's support is so great. I think it's absolutely amazing that the governor was able to come out and support us today. Governor Lee is already doing a ton to support not only us as governor's school scholars but the agricultural community as a whole. Today was really awesome. Uh, it just kind of proves, you know, why we're here, that we are young leaders. It's a group of students that's probably going to be our next leaders across the state. Uh, it's very bright. The selection process is uh, pretty tough to narrow it down to the 34 that get to come uh, from the over 100 that apply. It's just a really diverse group of students with a broad range of interest. You know, a lot of these students are still trying to make their mind up on what they want to do and uh, hopefully this is catching them at a time when they've still got some options and can change fairly easily. My future career goals are to pursue a, a, a career as an ag educator at like a high school level and Governor's School is helping me get closer to that by helping me make those connections that are so important to have as an ag teacher so that I'm able to then pass those on to my students and help them further themselves. I've learned so much that I don't normally get the experience to learn. I mean, growing up, we have a row crop operation. I'm very involved in the cattle industry. But like today, we got to learn about horses and bees and things about agriculture that you normally don't get to experience on a day-to-day -day basis. It's going to be a long month, but I'm so excited to learn even more about the industry that we are all so passionate about and be able to meet people and get closer with all of the people who are attending governor's school and just becoming more passionate about this industry. 
Well, the Governor's School for Ag has continued to get great reviews by the participants each year and continuing to prepare the next generation in our most important industry. Now let's see if there's any relief inside for this heat. Hello Blue Doubles, I'm Sean here with your three day forecast and I can tell you it's going to be a good three days. Starting off today we have a high of 93 degrees with cloudy weather during the noon time. It will be a great way to enjoy this weather today. Thursday will be cooler than today and will be a high of 89 with partly skies. However, it will still be hot so please take precaution. Lastly Friday there will be a high of 89 degrees with scattered thunderstorms during the morning time with a 40% chance of precipitation. Even though it will be somewhat hot this school week, please take part and enjoy these wonderful days with the sun. I'll see you Friday with your weekend weather report. I'm Shama signing off till next time. Have a good day, fellow students. Wow, it looks like Global Morning is here to stay. LHS is having an amazing time at the fair. If you missed 11 of March in Ben last Friday at the fair opening parade, you also missed a big brawl that broke out between cops and pedestrians. You'll have mm -hmm. another chance Saturday, the 24th at 6 p.m. In case you were wondering, the fair will continue through this weekend. That's all the news we have for you today, LHS. I'm Jesse. And I'm Chandler. And this and has been, been news to you from the White and Blue. Have a great day, LHS.